The regal jumping spider has returned, and it turns out that it was just molting. Now it's back, and it's wasting no time feasting on the abundant flies here in the biome. Spiderlings are easy prey for it, but now those are small-time prey. The jumping spider's focus is on soldier flies, and its abdomen just keeps on getting bigger. But over in the coastal biome, there's another story. The red house spider has been here for about a year, and it was the first to reproduce a second generation that grew into adults. I've now counted at least four. I think they may be the reason black widow spiders have haven't established themselves here. I see them wander in, but within a day or two, they're gone. Maybe it's the salty air, but more likely they've been eaten by the red house spiders. Meanwhile, this third wave of black widow spiderlings is maturing faster and in much greater numbers than in the first two waves. The flies have boosted their success, but the real question is what happens next? Do the flies keep reproducing, keeping the spiders going, or do the numbers dwindle until only a few remain? My hope is that just like the red house spider, the black widow can carve out a stable reproducing population here in mini biota.